Not only are sexual assault and dating violence unacceptable, they are against the law. The University of Oregon prohibits these behaviors whether they occur on or off campus and whether they are committed by faculty, staff, or students. In order to maintain the safety of students and other people on campus, the University of Oregon takes action when it hears of sexual assault, harassment, and abuse. When the university learns that a student has experienced sexual assault, dating violence, or any form of harassment, it reaches out to provide resources and assistance. The university may remove the perpetrator from student housing or a class they might have with the survivor. The University of Oregon can issue a letter stating that the perpetrator may no longer come in contact with the person that they hurt. In some cases, when the university deems behavior so inappropriate, the perpetrator can be suspended or expelled to protect the students. If a student who has perpetrated sexual assault or dating violence is an international student, they could lose their status as a student at the university. This could affect their visa and cause them to have to leave the United States. A student who perpetrates sexual assault or dating violence will be held responsible for their behavior. However, to be clear, if you are a survivor of sexual assault and dating violence and you decide to tell somebody, you will not get in trouble. In order to maintain a safe environment on campus, all faculty, staff, and student workers are required to report any incidences of sexual assault, abuse, or harassment to the university. The university investigates all reports made based on whatever information the survivor is comfortable providing and takes steps to stop inappropriate behavior and protect members of the community. This means that if a student harms another student, action may be taken against them in order to make sure that the survivor is safe. A lot of students don't realize the amount of options there are on and off campus for survivors of sexual assault and dating violence. Let's take a tour to see what kind of resources are available and what kind of support they provide. As we go on the tour, please remember these resources are only options. Ultimately, it is up to you to decide what to do, where to go, and who to tell about your experiences. Let's start our tour in the center of campus at the Office of the Dean of Students. The Office of the Dean of Students is located in 164 Oregon Hall, across the street from the university's health center. The office has a support person, the Sexual Violence Response and Support Services Coordinator, who can provide advocacy to students who have experienced sexual assault or dating violence. Renee helps students navigate the reporting system. She'll help students stay in school and provide students with different options of support. My job is to work with students and provide support. When I hear about an incident, I will reach out to the student and make sure they're getting all the help they want and need. I can assist students with academic and housing accommodations to ensure that students feel safe in their residence hall and in their classroom. This might include working with campus offices to move a person who has hurt a student to a different class or limiting someone's ability to be on campus altogether. It could also mean accompanying a student to the local hospital or the university health center if they're hurt. I can also go with a student to meet with local law enforcement if they want to report the incident to the police. I could also accompany them to the Office of Student Conduct and Community Standards if they want actions taken and hold the student accountable through the university. At the Health Center, staff members like me are trained to support and medically care for survivors of sexual assault and dating violence. Nurse practitioners can perform physical examinations and treat any injuries resulting from a sexual assault. We offer medications to prevent pregnancy and sexually transmitted infections. And upstairs is the Counseling and Testing Center. In our office, we have counselors with experience helping students cope with sexual assault and dating violence. And if you call us, we will help you set up appointments. Counseling center services for the purpose of therapy are confidential campus services with rare exceptions according to state and federal law. Now let's introduce you to some resources for support in case you want to report an incident of sexual assault or dating violence to the police. You can go straight to the police department, call their non-emergency phone line, or even fill out a report online. The University of Oregon Police Department has well-trained police officers who can help victims of sexual assault and dating violence. Of course, if you are an experiencing emergency at any time, you should call 911 for an immediate response. The University of Oregon is committed to providing a safe environment for its students. If you ever feel unsafe, it's okay to tell someone. 
There's nothing wrong with asking for help, and there are a lot of amazing people on campus who can provide you with exceptional support. Now that I've shared with you some resources on campus, let me share with you some resources off campus. If you want to seek help from an off-campus resource that is 100% confidential, then Sexual Assault Support Services, also known as SAS, is a great place to go. SAS is 100% confidential because they are a community agency not connected with the University of Oregon. SAS has a 24-hour crisis line, 541-343-7277 or 541-343-SAS. This phone line is a free and confidential service that lets you speak to someone who is available to help you any time of the day or night. SAS can also provide legal advocacy and support groups as well as one-on-one -on -one support services. The SAS office is located west of campus at 591 West 19th Avenue. Another great off-campus resource is Women's Space, which is located at 15th and Pearl Street. Women's Space is an organization that seeks to provide help and support to members of the community who are experiencing issues of dating violence. It has a 24-hour crisis line and can provide emergency shelter, support groups, and legal advocacy. Although you may never experience sexual assault, harassment, or dating violence, you may know someone who has. And it's great for everyone to know how to support a friend who may have experienced any of these things. If a friend tells you that they've been hurt by someone, it is important that you listen to and believe them. It can be hard to share an experience, even with a close friend, so try to give your friend space to express how they're feeling. You can also remind them that it is not their fault, and there is nothing that they did to deserve sexual assault, harassment, or abuse. It is also important to respect your friend's decisions. Don't ever make your friend do something that they don't want to do, like tell someone that they don't want to. Experiencing sexual violence can often lead people to feel as though they've lost control of their lives. So empower your friend to take that control back and don't force them to do anything that they don't want to. Lastly, do your best to provide your friend with a sense of safety and comfort. If you're able, this might mean asking them if you can accompany them to a doctor's appointment, if they want you to walk them home, or just being there to listen to their story. You can always provide your friend with the resources discussed in this video, such as phone numbers and websites to the University of Oregon offices and off-campus agencies. But remember, it is your friend's decision if they want to report their experience or talk to others about it. If you are interested in learning more about preventing sexual assault and dating violence and encouraging healthy relationships on campus, stop by the Women's Center and ask about SWAT, the Sexual Wellness Advocacy Team. We would love your help educating other students on these important issues. At the University of Oregon, we care about our students' health and well-being. We want to create a campus community that is a safe, rewarding place to learn and experience new things. Take care of yourself, take care of the people around you, and know that you are not alone here. There are caring people who are trained professionals that work at the university who are able to provide support to you if needed. For more information, visit safe.uoregon.edu or call the 24-hour hotline at 541-346-7233 or 541-346-SAFE.